This is JavaScript Essential Training, and in this course, these are some of the topics that we're going to be covering. In the introduction to JavaScript, we're going to talk about what JavaScript is and is not, and what AJAX is and is not. In Developer Essentials, we'll be covering everything from what tools you'll need and what tools are handy to use, how much HTML and CSS you need to know, and we'll cover objects, variables, and events. Then we'll actually get into starting to code, including writing your first script and talking about internal versus external scripts. In interacting with users, we'll cover everything from alert dialogues and conditional statements and prompts down to functions. In JavaScript Language Essentials, we'll go into some of the nitty-gritty of JavaScript syntax that you need to know, but it'll all be while building a bingo card, so that part will be fun. Creating rollovers and more talks about both images and user interface techniques. Building smart forms is about how to make your forms responsive and make users happy. Handling events goes into detail about the various events that JavaScript can handle because that's a common way of interacting with users. Working with cookies shows you how to take the little bit of writing that JavaScript can do and help use it to personalize your site for visitors. In the DOM nodes and objects chapter, we get into the hardcore nitty-gritty of how the DOM works and how it can be manipulated with JavaScript. Working with dates and times shows you how to use dates and times on your pages and behind the scenes so that you can have your site look always up to the minute. And in real-world applications of JavaScript, we take many of the methods and routines that we've worked on elsewhere in this course and put it all together to make useful small apps that you'll be able to pick up and take and use on your sites. Here's a little bit of code that we'll be working on later considerably later, but I want to start off in this overview talking about the way I discuss code. I'm not going to go through and read window.onload equals I-N-I-T capital I-M-A-G-E-S semicolon because, well, firstly, that's really boring. Secondly, I want to spend some time talking about what's actually going on, the concepts, and thirdly, because it's really boring. So instead, I'll be doing things like highlighting this line here and saying, so for var image name, we're initializing the image name variable and setting it equal to images slash this ID and JPEG so that we get the name of the image plus dot JPEG out of the images folder. If you have access to the exercise files, then you have all of this code available to you. If you don't have access to the exercise files, feel free to pause the video and copy down what I have because I'm not going to be reading it character for character. Now that we know a little bit about what's in this title and how it's structured, let's talk about what is JavaScript. 